Mr. Bay, eyes forward, smiles up, and... How do I start? What do I say? Hi, my name is Danny Bay. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Danny Bay. That's a good start. Hi, my name is Danny Bay. Um, I remember when I was 18 years old, being introduced to some very successful entrepreneurs that inspired me to I want to grow and change my life for better and started my journey as an entrepreneur and spent my first three and a half years um, trying uh, many different business ventures, um, <laughs> especially my first business venture when I was 18 years old. Um, spent nine and a half months of working very hard and learning, I guess. Um, I guess my mentor would say, I wasn't quite building the business yet, but business was building me. And I remember earning my first paycheck as an entrepreneur after nine months of being an entrepreneur for $58. And, and coming home and showing my family um, that you know I'm gonna be successful one day because I finally made my first paycheck as an entrepreneur. And that started my journey as an entrepreneur and after three and a half years, um, I found a great company that I have been with it for 12 years now. And um, you know, the last 12 years has been incredible. Um, you know, I got to you know travel the world. Um, I got to fly. I guess travel the world over a million miles, and and met you know hundreds of thousands of people personally, and and being able to be um, part of many people creating their success stories around the world as well. I uh, became a regional vice president um, in the company I'm with right now. Um, at the age of 22 years old, I um, became a senior vice president when I was 24 years old. Um, and um, when I was 28 years old, I had the privilege of working um, internally and help company expand um, to Asia and launched Korea. And I have been spending the last five years um, developing our Korea business to be over $100 million um, in annual revenue now. And we have a lot more things that we're working on for the future. And I'm very thankful for um, incredible people that I've met and incredible mentors that I've been mentored by and all the experiences that I get to gain through um, you know ups and downs and the journey of success and you know I really believe that it's because of the trainings and you know resources like this that were available to me um, last over a decade that has helped me to become who I needed to become um, to be able to achieve the things that we've been able to achieve and, and make a little impact in a lot of other people's lives as well. Um, I think a lot of people believe that success happens overnight and I can see why majority of people that haven't quite achieved their success yet may think that about other people because um, out of appearance it does seem like it happened overnight because they don't see the struggle and they don't see the preparation and they don't see the time that Roots had to dig deep and grow um, for them to be able to actually grow on top of the surface. Um, you know for me I um, you know went through a lot of things I'm um, looking back they were all good things um, you know but at the time it seemed really challenging um, had you know a lot of financial challenges I remember um, <laughs> um, you know didn't tell anybody at the time but you know I remember uh, in the early days um, you know barely eating 99 cent bacon cheeseburger at fast food chains uh, for my dinner or and that may even be only only meal that I I, I will get to eat that day because I just simply didn't have much money I remember being beyond Behind them bills and and you know being buried with debt you know but I just made a decision back then um, that you know being you know the the problems weren't gonna just go away and you know and and I just had to ask myself a question you know yes it takes work yes it take it, it takes um, dedication yes it is challenge um, it is challenging to do what I'm supposed to do to achieve what I want to achieve but you know what's more challenging and what's easier um, meaning that you know struggle maybe dealing with financial struggles or maybe going through um, tough times by people um, around you that are negative and trying to steal your dreams you know and fighting th through those emotional battles and your um, internal mental battles um, you know I just have to ask myself is it you know is it easier to give in to these things or um, is it you know easier to just fight the battle and win because at the end of the day um, I made a decision that of overcoming this challenge is much easier than being in a position where my daughter or my son my kids in the future 
ask me if I could support them in certain way to help them to go to certain private school or certain college or um, education programs and, and me not being in a position to do so and having a tough conversation with them saying, hey, um, I can I can support you. I can help you. Um, I, I thought that conversation would be much harder than me overcoming the challenges that I was going through at the time. So you know, I think everybody that's on a journey of success, you know, they're going to go through challenges just like myself and every other successful entrepreneurs in the world ha ever have. You just got to make a decision that hey, you know what, being you know going deeper in problems is okay temporarily as long as you're mentally out of those problems and you're continuing to build your dreams at a higher level. You know, anybody that is considering becoming an entrepreneur in the direct sales industry, um, I'll give them a few advice. Number one, think long term. Number two, be consistent. Number three is to make sure that nobody will steal their dreams because you know, at the end of the day, sharing good products and services and acquiring customers and building a team of network of customer getters to build a bigger customer base, that portion itself isn't really that difficult. It's the mental battle and emotional battle um, they have to do within themselves. Um, you know, that's the challenging part. Jim Rohn said battle is in the mind. Um, and, and it really truly is, you know. So I would give everybody an advice that, you know, think long term, you know, work hard, be consistent, um, you know, but most importantly, don't let anybody and anything in any situation steal their dreams and, you know, and, and, and work hard for, you know, many years of, of a great journey and, and, you know, there's great opportunity in the industry, that's for sure. You know, during my career, um, I had some different challenges and, and problems that occurred that Looking back, I um, yeah, I could have probably dealt with it better and, and handled it better. And you know, at the end of the day, what it is is number one, being too emotional for challenges and problems that occurred. You know, sometimes we could, you know, I, I, I got upset, or sometimes I maybe um, overreacted, or you know, freaked out. <laughs> um, and and instead of you know just taking a look at the big picture, my mentor, Mr. Robert, always told me that you know you got to think in a big, um, big scale. You got to um, when you think of it in a um, big scheme of things, you know, really none of those issues and problems are really that big of a deal and if you could really um, master if I could have really master even earlier on 10 years ago um, to step out of the problem and, and see the bigger picture um, you know instead of you know only looking at the problem and, and let it be life or death type of a situation and overreact emotionally um, you know I would have I would have done probably better and I would, have, <laughs> I would have probably saved a lot of headaches for myself and a lot of people that was working with me at the time. Um, I measure success. I think success is different for everybody. Um, some people, you know, want to be, um, you know, a little more financially free, you know, and I think then if they achieve that at a $500 a month level or $2,000 a month level or $10,000 a month level, I think, you know, whatever level that may be, you know, that's success. I think success is, you know, whatever, you know, anytime you are growing and you're doing better and you're achieving whatever you want to achieve, um, you're becoming successful. I, you know, I, I consider myself um, uh, to be a successful entrepreneur, but I consider my dad um, to be a very, very successful um, a, a dad as well as a successful musician. You know, he was a musician, um, he was also an author, um, you know, he did a lot of things for the community. Um, served a lot at church choirs and you know different um, nonprofit organizations and and he was very successful great musician he was extremely great at what he's done and, and he impacted a lot of people's lives but that wasn't attached to anything you know financially um, you know so you know I don't think finance success has has to be related to finance um, but you know if you're an entrepreneur um, you know you being successful should somewhat um, be related to um, having a financial impact in your life you know so you know I, I respect everybody in every industry in every field that are successful making a difference in the world and going out there and challenging and growing themselves to go out there and do better and do more for themselves as well as their people um, you know most satisfying moment in business for me is seeing other people succeed you know I just a few days ago we had a convention in Korea a little over six 
16,000 people crowd and and you know seeing four of my friends um, achieving the top position in the company senior vice president and getting promoted and getting carried on stage in front of 16,000 people and seeing the tears come out of their eyes and knowing their story of where they came from four years ago and where they are now and the impact they made uh, in their lives um, but also well as you know their immediate family members and and, and even there are many of their business partners that are you know living better and doing better today than they were six months or a year or two or three years ago um, you know that that is the most fulfilling and exciting and a motivating factor for me in my business journey happiness for me I guess today you know being a father of three kids eight and six and four year old um, you know being around them and you know spending time with them and doing activities with them you know makes me more happy than anything else in my life today um, you know in the business world you know seeing other people succeed and and you know even even not succeeding but brand new people that are just starting the journey with the excitement and passion in their eyes um, and I could feel it in their body posture and their energy um, as well as I could hear it um, you know in their words um, and, and they're starting to dream um, in their life that makes Maybe they never dreamt before in the last 20, 30, 40 years and having those conversations and hearing that um, motivates me and that makes me happy. Um, you know, and, and seeing you know, other people just making a positive impact in their lives as well as other people's lives, you know, that makes me happy and that makes me excited to go out there and, and do more and you know, be the best I could become to go out there and participate as much as I can. How do you build a successful customer base? It is, I believe, built, number one, you gotta have good products and services, but more importantly, it's built on good relationship in customer acquisition process and customer maintenance. Um, you know, you could have a great product, great price um, to whatever products and services you offer, um, but if, you know, if that's all you offer um, without the, uh, network marketing, um, human side relationship, um, then anytime there's a better product out there, a better price out there, you're gonna lose that customer. You know, so, you know, we train people on not customer acquisition, but lifetime customer acquisition. And that truly happens by, um, you know, using and utilizing and building a good relationship with customers and take good care of them. Um, send them a thank you message, you know, send them a message for their birthdays or send them happy new year message or whatever it may be and, you know, be there for them just the way they were there um, for you of uh, becoming a customer and you could truly build a lifetime customer um, with great products and services in a good company. Is there a formula in becoming a successful entrepreneur? I would have to borrow what Mr. Jim Rohn said. It should, could, I will. Um, you know, he said formula for success is whatever you should do and you could do, you should do it. Um, and formula for failure is should, could, I don't. You know, a lot of people believe that, um, you know, they lack resources or they lack knowledge or they lack people or they, you know, they need more things or they need better circumstance for them to win. But the reality is whatever you should do and whatever you could do, if you just make a decision today that I will do it and go out there and go after it. Um, I believe that everybody could go out there and start to succeed at their level and, and, and head towards bigger success in their life. Um, what's next for me in the business world is, you know, this year, 2016, we're expanding into some other new markets and we're working on launching uh, Japan, which is a very big market for us. Um, we've been working diligently for the last few months preparing for that. Um, so I'm really excited about a new country launch, um, you know, for family, you know, seeing my kids um, now, um, you know, all growing up. Um, well, I, they're still young, but you know, they're definitely growing fast. I want to become a better father. I want to become a better husband. Um, I want to become a you know, better friend um, to my peers and you know better um, become a better Christian um, you know with my spiritual belief and you know just make uh, this year 2016 a great year of a lot of growth in all areas of my life. If you can only say one word how would you characterize your life as an entrepreneur? One word characterize a miracle <laughs>